Hello guys, Mabuhai to all the Philippines. Today I want to make a review on the runway challenge that the candidates of Miss Universe Philippines had to do and I reviewed videos of the candidates. First of all, I want to say congratulations to all of them. They all did great, but I wanted to do my top as I started doing my tops and doing my reviews on Beauty Pie this last edition of Miss Universe. And because the Philippines and the Filipino fans, I love them so much and I have such a great memory of all of them, I wanted to do this video. First of all, I want to say that I did it with all the respect and all the love. And second, obviously, I don't know the instructions that they were given, so I'm just gonna say the things that I love that I may have made better myself. Obviously, I understand that for some people it's their first time competing, which is completely fine. So I choose the videos that I like the most, and this is my top of the Miss Universe Philippines One Way Challenge. No particular order. And before I move on with the review of the video, I want to say that sorry if I don't say the names good. <laughs> I'm not from there, but I do it with all my love and respect. So, Princess Christosin Passage. Um, I think that she had kind of a confusing dress and she makes kind of weird charms to the camera. But I love when she smiles at the end. And there was something that I missed, which is kind of her love, like her passion and like the need to conquer the camera, the audience, judges, the, the fans at the end. So that's something I was missing. And um, sometimes the, the video looks more like a music video uh, from an... But I think that the important challenge is that you can see the walk of the girl, the walk of the candidate, how she walks, how she smiles, how she tries to conquer the audience and and make them vote for you, you know, at the end you have to make them love you. Next one, Maria Ingrid Teresita from Paranaque. I can see her walk very well, she looks amazing. The background is kind of weird and she doesn't know where to look sometimes, like she's kind of lost. In my opinion, that the simpler the better because you know that's that's where the audience can really see you and feel you so it's important to look at the camera to smile at the camera to love the camera next one is katrina dimaranan from dagwig i love her facial expressions she has this altitude this strong walk she makes me think this is confidence maybe just to say a but she jumps a little bit when she walks like it's kind of jumpy that's what i would work on but i love her attitude that's one of the best things because you can walk better or worse that's something that you can fix with training but what you cannot fix is your attitude and i think her attitude is great she makes a great movement of her powerful when she poses which is something really important to her parents and I don't think I like it so much when she walks with the hands on the hips. I think that the hands just need to flow by as you walk and kind of accompany you with the movement. Next one is Kristen Danielle de Lapine from Masbate province. I can see her full body and this is something also important. Like if you're making a video where your runway skills are going to be highlighted, like your body needs to be seen fully with again with a simple dress and nice heels that the people in the US can appreciate how you walk and and that can make a decision based on that. She has a good look but to me maybe she needs to make it feel like it's natural. Next one is Isabella just me uh, from Manila. I love her poses, she's elegant. She also gives me this Latina vibe that the Filipinos love. She has also great control of the legs and how she walks, how she moves the legs one after the other is great. The arms just move and flow with uh, with the body, with the movement. Like I said before, the face is great. For me, it's one of the best videos of one of the best candidates and she has a great preparation. So congrats to her. Next one is Larian Mai Bautista from Laguna. I love her control. I love how she looks at the camera, how, you know, how her eyes move with, with it. 
her thorns she's elegant but fierce and i love that attitude in a mess i have to say that i love when someone is elegant but she's transmitting you sensuality and, and being fierce with her attitude i love that next one is steffi rose Averasturi from cebu she has a great walk she is really enjoying it and it is another part that i wanted to highlight about about beauty pageants if you enjoy what you do if you are enjoying your walk the people are with you so it's really important to be confident and to enjoy it at the same time so you can really tell with her with the stuffy that she's enjoying it and she's making me enjoy it she has a great hip smooth for me she looks determined strong and powerful that's what she transmits me with her walk next one is merjan s Hippolito from angeles city great how she looks side to side that's something really important in beauty paints you and that's something that you maybe will do more in front of an audience in, in on a stage because that's where the audience is and then you know you look from but i love it to see makes that the video maybe moves too much and it's kind of dizzy for me so i cannot really see and getting a good side of her face so that's something i would work on because at the end you have to sell yourself you have to make this and the judges love you for them to choose you to pick you so that's something like you need to give your 200 percent and you need to be your best version and let them see you fully next one chrysaline my valencia from the bao occidental she's super good looking uh it's not the best walk she maybe would need to move a little bit more the hips she looks really elegant she has a great smile great presence but for me she looks more like a model than a miss in a beauty pageant so that's something i would work on maybe she has more experience in fashion and that's why she walks so let's say straight so that's something i would work on like to move a little bit more and to have like a more miss attitude Nella Joy Quaton from Albay is my last choice she's elegant she looks good in, in in general she's sensual confident and controls the camera like i said before i love when sensuality is something that the girls transmit you you're transmitting confidence you're transmitting security and that at the end you love what you're doing and and you're making the people love it too so these were my top no, runway challenge for miss universe philippines i haven't had the time to see their interviews or see anything else from them but in one of these girls is a crown of the next Miss Universe Philippines. I hope that you liked the video. Again, I did it with all my love, respect and the little knowledge that I could have after competing for um, so many years. I just wanted to say thank you and a little hi to all the Filipinos watching because I receive a lot of love from you and you have always been great. So I hope you like it. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to give me more ideas of videos that you want to see thank you and see you in the next video